everyone. Welcome to my FlossTube channel. My name is Vani and this is my FlossTube channel where I talk about um, everything full coverage cross stitch. So welcome to those of you who have never been here before. Um, thanks for joining me. It's been a long time. Uh, I usually take a break during the summer and I'm now getting back into the groove of making my regular videos. And for those of you who decide to come back, thank you very much for coming back and joining me again. So I'm a little rusty. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos, but we're going to try. Okay, so let's see how it goes. So before I jump into the uh, whips, um, how have things been going? Uh, things have been very busy from the summer leading into this fall season. Um, kids are back to school. Both kids are in university now. My daughter just started university. So that's been um, a bit of a challenge getting used to that. Uh, work has been going great. And yeah, in general, everything is going pretty good. Um, the weather has started to turn into fall-like weather, which I kind of am okay with because I'm not a fan of the very hot weather. I kind of like bundling up in some warm um, sweaters and clothing and blankets, so I much prefer that and, you know, turning on a, the fire or something like that rather than being too warm and you can't do anything in that kind of heat. So I much prefer curling up next to the fire with my cross stitch or maybe even a, read a book if that is what I'm in the mood for. So I have managed, I think since the last update, it was, I think about, yeah, it was about two months ago, a little more than two months ago. So I actually have enough collected to show you what I've been up to. So let's jump right in. Um, the first one that I'm going to share is the Mechanical Seahorse. This was a mystery sell last year from the Cross Stitch Studio, which I joined, of course, but did not follow along because I have a problem with keeping up with the mystery sales because there's just so much going on and there's so many projects that I work want to work on I can't concentrate on one I literally get bored if I stitch on one project for more than a few days and that's being generous so even though I know I'm not gonna be able to keep up and I see everybody's progress I keep at it anyway and then it becomes into my um, whip pile and it goes into my rotation. As you can see, this also used to be a um, Cross Stitch Studio mystery sal from the previous year. I'm still in love with it. This is one of my favorite ones. We'll review all of my projects that I have on display up there. But, so, back to this one. I finally, finally, finally made some kind of progress. It was, it's so hard. And I, I, I don't even know where to start. So, I have a page finish, you guys. So it's blue on blue on blue, but I got a page finish. So this is the the like the neck scope of the seahorse, and this is just ocean, ocean floor, ocean seashells, ocean blue, blue, blue. But isn't it really lovely? Can you make that out? It's so nice. But can you even imagine the amount of confetti? that is in this, this is just two pages. Yeah, it's only two pages in, and, and this is how much I've got. Um, I'm stitching it on very, very tiny. Let's see if I can find the details on this. Um, I think I just heard my son sneeze, but we're all good. Um, here we go. So the details on this, I'm stitching it on 22 count, two over one. I think full, full crosses. I don't think I've all of mine are on um, two crosses, two over one. Um, it's it's very confetti heavy, and that means that it's just long, and this the similar colors make it very difficult to push through. But I keep going, and I actually I really like the results, so I'm looking forward to the next page. I think um, I mean 
I could go across that way or I could go down. I haven't really decided. Just waiting for it to come into the next rotation and then we'll make a decision. So for those of you who don't know, I have a rotation with all of my cross stitch pieces. Um, I have a decision wheel on my phone and I've entered in all of my whips. Um, and except for my Christmas piece that I only do on the 24th and 25th, which we'll come to. I also have a Sunday piece that I like to work on on Sundays. Then I have my focus piece, um, which I haven't really been focusing on, but I really want to. So, but everything else goes into the decision wheel and it tells me what project I'm gonna work on. I like the variety, I really do. It keeps my interest going. Moving on to the next one. Next one is the piece that I've tried to work on a little bit every Sunday. I started it for Mother's Day this year and it is an amazing piece. Um, it's by Heaven and Earth Designs. And let me see if I can find details on it. I'm doing it on 20 count, my first project ever on 20 count fabric. And I'm loving it. I got the fabric from um, Kaylee. And she, her, you can find her stuff at the sewing shop. Um, she has amazing things. She's got all kinds of stuff. She's got project bags. She's got fabric. Um, and she, I bought this piece from her at the retreat last year that I went to. And I'm going to show you the other side of the material. And I had this material and this is, it's, it's long this way. So I had this material. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to stitch it on? It's very long and narrow because it's double the width. Like, it's like very long people. So I was like, I need a project for it. And some of my cross stitching friends here local, um, one of them, Pam, actually, she suggested, hey, I know the perfect project for you. And she was right. This is Birds and Bloom uh, by Heaven and Earth Designs, and I'm doing it to two over one. And because it's long and narrow, I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to show you first. Here's how far I am. Look, isn't it amazing? I'm stitching it without the background. So as you can see right here, you can see these flowers. I don't know what the name is. It's like at the tip of my tongue. It's bluebells, but they're not blue. I don't know. Anyway, they're absolutely beautiful. And then I got a chance to start the next column. And you can notice that's a bird. How amazing is that? Isn't it lovely? It's great material. It's going to be such a long, narrow project. Let's see if I can open this up right. Yes, hold it this way. So... It's gonna be like this. And so instead of going across and stitching that way across the top, I'm just gonna go down and stitch in columns. So yeah, this is a really fun stitch and I try to stitch on it at least for an hour or two on Sundays. It's just my Mother's Day project that I started on Mother's Day this year and I wanna keep going. Um, Next up is my London piece. Um, let's see what I know about it. It um, is Heaven and Earth Designs and it's officially called Life is an Open Book London. I'm stitching it on 22 count two over one full cross. And I'm getting close to the corner of a page finish. Look at that. Finally make out the shape of the wheel. And then we've got more building structures here. I'm, I'm, I love the ivy section. But yeah, this is the last little bit of corner that needs to be stitched. Just a little bit to go and then I can move on. But yeah, making some good progress with that. Always fun to pick that out again. Um, next up. After London, before I picked up the next project, I had a special project that I wanted to do for my sister. Uh, it was her birthday and we were going to be going to Ontario to visit her. So I thought, you know, I really want to do something uh, nice for her. It was a milestone birthday. And I thought, you know what? She loves her home province so much. I'm going to cross stitch her um, a piece of Newfoundland. And I found the pattern on Etsy and you can actually get every single province. Let me see if I can find you a before picture of what the project is supposed to look like. I'm so not prepared for today, but it's okay. I figured, you know, it's been a while since I've been here. I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Uh, where are we to? Right. So 
it's on Etsy from Vlada X Stitch. And here is what, I don't know how the glare is going to work. So this is what it's supposed to be, right? So I decided to not stitch the words Newfoundland and Labrador, and I stitched just this. So I'm right here going to insert a picture of what it is, what it looked like finished. And I got it framed for her before I left and she loved it. So I gave that to her. So that was a really nice project and didn't take me very long um, because I made sure that I um, stitched on that one and only that until I finished it. And really, if I kind of think back on it, if, because there's a lot of days in between that I didn't stitch at all. And then if it combined all the time that I used just to stitch on that, I'd say it took me about a week. I mean, it was a very small uh, project, and but it's, it's beautiful. I loved how it turned out and I did a simple framing on it and it was great. Um, moving on. So next up is my Peacock one. This is Peacock Fantasy by Heaven Earth Designs and I'm stitching it on 28 count, one over one, full cross. So here we are making some progress finally got a little bit more of the body in and this is more of the wing coming up here so this is always a really nice piece to work on there you go now it's focused um i just love the colors i really cannot wait to get down to the um feathers in the body that's going to be amazing but because just the detail that's in there now itself is just amazing and but it is 28 counts, so it takes me a bit of time to get into the rhythm and roll of it because I'm so used to doing two strands of floss rather than the one strand that this, so it's gonna have to be a little bit more delicate. And so getting used to the, um, the stitching method of stitching with just one strand of floss, it takes me a bit of time. Uh, but then I get into it and then uh, before you know it, I've made some progress and I can move on to the next project, which is Siamese Fighting Fish. And it just turned out that two back-to-back -back projects were 28 count, and uh, so I was doing one over one for a while, which I'm not a huge fan of, but because of the immense size of these projects, I had to uh, go with higher count fabric. Um, making some lovely progress. The colors on this are just totally fabulous. This one is Siamese Fighting Fish. And here's where we are. Yeah, you can see that. So. Um, the colors are really nice. Um, I just, so vibrant, right? The colors, I just really enjoy it. And I'm finally making some good progress in this section here. Um, this was part of a previous stitching challenge that I did. Um, but yeah, so it was, it's really nice to just do that kind of stitching and make some progress on it. I really like it. Right? This is going to be a huge, huge project, but... Let's see how it goes. Next up is one of my favorite pieces. Um, for a few years, it has been my focus piece, uh, but I've changed my focus for this next little while, but I still really enjoy working on this. And this is probably my one of, um, it's a large piece, but it's the large piece that I've made the most progress on. It's more than 50% complete. It's Ganesha. So I'm going to show you the, the latest finish that I have on it. I have a diagonal finish and then I'll show you what I have the whole piece so far. So here's the diagonal finish. I just love that clean edge. Of course, you can see I went one stitch over, but I just love that clean line of progress. So that's, this is the width of the diagonal that I was doing. And this is all progress here. Finally completed that diagonal and we're moving on. Do you want to see what it looks like all so far? Every time I open this up, I'm just in, in awe of the detail and oh, I love it. Here it is. It's, it's, it's amazing. I love it. Oh, I can't imagine what it's going to be like when it's finished. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. Okay, so let's fold that one up. Next up is um, Mini Avarice. It is a part of the Seven Deadly Sins 
uh, from Heaven Oak Designs from the artist Marta Dulig, I think you pronounce it. I'm totally probably butchering her name, but let me just double check the spelling. Yeah, Marta Dulig, unless something is silent, D-A-H-L-I-G. Heaven Earth Designs, Seven Deadly Sins. This one is Avarice, which I think has something to do with being... No, I don't know. Does anyone know what it is? I got to look up the, the picture of what it's um, supposed to be to see if I can figure it out. But here it is. Look at that. Another diagonal finish. I had a couple of those and I kind of like it. It really feels like progress when you finish that diagonal. You know? Oh, this is going to be amazing when it's done. So excited. And I think I'm finally getting into... Maybe she comes here because the center of the arch is here. So she'll probably be here somewhere. But isn't it amazing how with just different strands of color, these diamonds actually look like they're sparkling. Like, I, I, I don't know what it is and what magic is woven into these stitches. But, you know, I had someone um, comment on Instagram they thought I was stitching with variegated thread. And I'm like, oh my God, I never thought that that would be an option, but it's not. It's just how many different shades of yellow and brown that there ever possibly could be are all in this, all of it. And it creates such an amazing effect. Like, really, they, they look like they're shining. I love it. I can't explain it. I just love it and I find so much joy in it. Next is one of my favorite owl pieces, although this one is also a very, very dear favorite. This one is so colorful. This is my Autumn Owl Trio, stitched on 22 count, two over one full cross. And I have a diagonal finish. Yes, I do. Look at that. I'm on a roll. Okay, here, I'm going to show you the diagonal finish, then I'm going to pull it up close. Hang on. I'm going to show you like this first. So here is the diagonal finish. Isn't that nice? And then here is what we have all of it so far. So you'll see in a, in a few of these projects, like normally, you know, I stitch in these diagonals with no like carryover or weird blotches of stitches over here. And you saw it in a few of them. I'll explain that's from my stitching challenges that I gave myself um, during Christmas, and we'll, 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 we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, lastly, speaking of Christmas, I have a Christmas crossfit project that I started with uh, Leanne, uh, Small Town Stitches, a couple of years ago, and we stitch on it every 24th and 25th of the month, but I think um, she just mentioned recently that it's coming down to her stitching just probably on the 24th, or one day of the month. That's fine. It wasn't meant to be like a quick project that we finish before next Christmas or anything like that. This was just to have a Christmas piece in our rotation because both of us had just recently finished a Christmas piece, I think. I know I had. And so I just wanted another Christmas piece in my rotation. And so this was what it was. Um, I try, I try to stitch on it every 24th and 25th of the month. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I remember. This time I remembered a couple of times. The other thing about this project, I'm stitching it on 18 count, two over one full cross, but the cool or weird or unusual thing about it is that I've decided to stitch extreme cross country. Uh, I don't know if this was the right project to do that just cause there's a lot of sky and snow to stitch through. And it's getting really, really difficult to stay interested, but I'm gonna try. I don't know if I'll last because I feel like I could make more progress if I didn't have to stick to one color. You know what I mean? I think I need to, I don't know. I'll give it until the end of the year and then I might just switch it to a regular project. Still stitch it on Christmas, like 24th and 25th, but not extreme cross country. I feel like this was the wrong project to pick for extreme cost country. I'm sorry, but yeah, I, I can't anymore. But anyway, here's how much I got done. I don't even know what color it is. 
it's just some kind of light pink, light white. You can't even tell the difference. There is actually two different colors in this area, but you can't even tell. That's how much progress I made. You want to know how big the project is? Mm. Here you go. That's how big the project is. It's not humongous, but just a lot of snow and sky that is taking me a really long time. So yeah, I think I might. You heard it here now, folks. I think I might change it to a regular stitching method for me and not extreme cross country. So upcoming plans. We are in the month of October. Um, besides my regular stitching and rotation routine, I am really looking forward to Christmas again. The last couple of years I've been doing a Vlogmas, which is I put up a daily uh, video, just a short snippet of my stitching that day. And I'll have, I have my coffee of the day again, my coffee advent calendar. I've got going to do my stitching challenges. So basically um, I'll post or I'll share a video uh, about more details of how I go about it. But basically I have a roster of projects that I want to stitch through the month of December and I'll post two on my Instagram channel um, as in a poll and everyone who wants to participate can uh, pick and choose which project I'm going to be stitching on that following day and then I have uh, a variety of challenges that I give myself like stitch 100 stitches, um, stitch cross country, um, stitch only the color red, um, fun challenges like that that I just give myself for that project and that happens every day. And, um, I always have a, um, Christmas exchange, gift exchange with my local knitting group and we will do that. So that'll be part of it as well. I'll get to open one of those gifts every day. It's just some joyous fun and I really enjoy it. So that's the plan I have leading up to the end of the year, my Christmas plans and ideas. I um, now need to get ready to make those gifts um, that I have to give away to my friends. And yeah, it's just, I'm already excited about the Christmas season. It's one of my favorite seasons. It's just so colorful and joyful and the music and the movies, the Hallmark movies. That's my best part. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. The Christmas tree, time with family, just everybody is in a good mood and I like it. So uh, before I sign off for today, a little review of my projects, my full coverage projects. Here we have Mini Moose Crossing, two over one 18 count, Heaven Earth Designs. Actually, all of them are Heaven Earth Designs except for this guy over here. This is my Sleepy Owlet by the Cross Stitch Studio. It was a mystery cell, uh, not so much of a mystery anymore. It's on 18 count, two over one full cross. That one over there is... Um, mini opening night. It is of a ballet dancer. So fun to stitch on, even though I'm stitching on endless background right now. I'm hoping soon we will get into some interesting stuff. That one over there is a labor of love. It is um, the travel bookshelf by Amy, by Amy Stewart and Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, love it. It is just so colorful and so detailed and there's always so much going on that I don't even know what I'm stitching on until I take it off my Q-snap and step away from it and see what I was stitching on, which is kind of cool. Over here, we have Little Dreamer's Tree, mini Little Dreamer's Tree, Heaven Earth Designs. Again, this is an 18 count, two over one full cross. This one is actually 25 count, one over one full cross. Then here, uh, I'm kind of hoping she comes on rotation soon before the year end, because I feel like this is going to be my one and only finish for the year because I'm so close to finishing it. Um, it's Enchanted Garden, Heaven and Earth Designs. It's a discontinued pattern. One of my favorites. I really feel like I have a good chance of finishing it. So I'm hoping it comes in rotation soon. And there you have it. That's my update for today. I hope to be back in a more regular fashion, um, but I've been having fun stitching. It's been going well. And I'm, I just really like it, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining me here tonight. And I hope you come back and we can share in some more full coverage love. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone. Bye.